um, welcome back to another video of um, how to make a scratch OS. Now we are continuing Quest OS, but I've added a few changes. You don't have to add these changes, but uh, let's just start it up. So we've still got the same startup. So let's just um, wait for this to load and. Uh, okay now we're in so you see that we've added this so it's it's now got the profile now i think i ac i want to actually move this a bit up so i'm gonna do like 12 oh yeah uh 12 then this needs to be raised up and this needs to be raised up basically i've made it so when you e enter your password it will change to entering password if you type the correct password for example if I type the well actually if I type the incorrect password it will say wrong password try again then enter password if I type the right password it will say logging in and then yeah <coughs> so um <coughs> one, now uh, one sec now once you've done that what you want to do is you want to so actually we're starting we're gonna start making the um desktop so you want one desktop thing one one desktop wallpaper which for me will look like this so if i just make it go to back layer so it'll forever go to the back layer this will um so i am just gonna quit i am just gonna quickly make it so when it receives a login it will do this and yeah so um i'll beat you guys when i've done that okay so i've made it so when it receives logging in also i've done a bit of, of camera work so um now what it will do is it will set password well no actually um so when when it receives logging in it will hide it will hide variable name and hide the variable um show entered which i don't know why i called it that so let's just like log in boom now it works so what you want to do is we want a um um like uh what is it called taskbar so you want a taskbar so let's do fill and you either and you would want black and let's just do that and then boom now if you were if you like ubuntu I'm a Windows 10 user, but if you like Ubuntu or Fire or um, Linux, then you can do the taskbar on the side. But for me, I'm going to do the taskbar uh, here because I'm on Windows 10. And yes, I'm using Chrome this time because I kind doesn't doesn't mean I'm forever going on Chrome. Just I'm um, just on it. Okay. Now what you want to do is i've raised the taskbar up a little bit and you can see it's got a ghost effect applied to it you want to put a forever loop in here and put when green flag click forever set ghost effect to 35 or you can do 45 so it'll do that and what you might want to do as well is you might want to make it um so you might want to make your taskbar functional which we will it will be functional um later in this video or maybe even in part three but yeah so now we need to make it so when green flag clicked hide hide and go to back layer then when i receive login logging in when I no when I receive um logging in 
Wait, uh, two, wait, wait, 1.5 seconds. Go to front layer and show. Let's test that. Now, guys, um, this is random. And also, I've made another website again. Um, here is a new website, by the way. It's called Phoenix Technologies, and I've made um, a logo for it. Quest OS. Quest OS is an operating system that is made of gradual and yada yada yada. We have R OSs, which when I say R OSs, that means my OSs. So we have Netscape OS, which is actually the very first operating system I made. If you go if you go to my YouTube if you go to my YouTube <coughs> and um if you go to my YouTube go to videos and then scroll down you can see that that was my second video which has Netscape and then I next made Phoenix OS and then Chroma OS and then Quest OS London which Hasia actually came up with that code name London is the code name Quest OS is the operating system it's gonna be called Quest OS London oh wait let me just uh, do this okay yeah so it's perfect now uh, I'm just gonna move this down a bit And you, c I'm gonna make it so it can turn transparency on, off, on or off. So it's like ghost effect, and then uh, forever. If uh, if key if key. Um, T, I'm gonna do. If key T is pressed, set goes to effect to zero. Go, wait, no, ghost. Then, else set goes to effect to thingy. So you want T? Okay, no, that's not really working. So I'm just undo, 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 undo. I'm not gonna add the um, ability to. Uh, okay, um, I've just removed that feature and let's start getting into it. Okay, so as you can see, I've just switched browsers because I didn't like the look of Google Chrome. So now, if I enter this, so. Uh, I'm failing on entering the own password. Now, you want to get the Quest OS logo, put it there, make it smaller, uh, and does that look about right? And then we want to put that there. So, if I move this to the mi to the center and do that, then what I will do is I will make a little bump here. Completely wrong. Uh. Let's just uh, change that. Okay. Um. Um. No. Wait. Oh no. I am trying to make. Actually, why don't I just make us put a circle there? Why didn't I think of that? Uh, 
Okay, now um, you want to, I would say, what you might actually want to do, make this black, make this white. Hmm. How do I do that? Because I can't make it look like that because then it reveals what the logo actually looks like without that square so I'm gonna have to keep the square there but hmm I never knew I was gonna be having mm, so much trouble with just the uh, logo for a taskbar so I'll be right back so I'll be right back and do that. Okay, so I've sorted everything out. I've now got it. So um, it now has a taskbar, and I am. And we might want to add some maps. And also, this sprite here is a taskbar outline. You might be wondering how I got that. It's from this sprite here. <coughs> and my voice has gone croaky again. So let's start coding some apps what you want to do is create a new sprite by going here and just press paint now if you want your sprites to be round if you want your app to be rounded then you can do that because uh, I'm gonna make my app r r rounded too so the first app we're gonna have is I am gonna make it an help or uh, help thingy so I'm gonna make this a bit smaller hold if you hold out the alt key then you can um resize it from the center you can resize any object from the center so let me put this in the middle in the middle and boom so this is going to be the help center where you can get help and yeah so we, when this sprite is clicked so wait when we what we want first is I'm going to just duplicate the code from here now now we want so when the sprite is clicked so in sec you can see that it has a little bit of um, makes it look like it's actually res a responsive button so what you actually want to do is when the sprite is clicked broadcast help center or what your app is called so let's broadcast help center and we want to make a help center app and we want to make it so we're uh, we're not gonna add any X buttons because the, we're gonna make this draggable, and we want this to and we want it to not have any X buttons. Otherwise, they won't like go behind. You can include X buttons. I might, but I'm just gonna make it a simple press of the space bar to close the app. So I'm gonna design the help center app, and I'll see you when I've designed it. Quick little update: I've changed it to the information center because I've made it have this little eye icon. So it's going to be called the information center, and if you want to call it the information center, you can do that. okay <clears throat> so um I've done it and let's see how it works out now I have no idea if I've just left my video unpaused now if you have then I've been doing testing so you'll probably see that testing but when you click it it will fade out then when you click spacebar 
it will fade back in. Now, that is going to be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you <coughs> in the next one. Bye.